and Trets, Mogwa here, and I got a bit of a different video for you guys today. Today's video is sponsored by Black Kite Games, the makers of Acolyte of the Altar, which is an upcoming roguelike deck builder, which will be available on Steam. Right now, you can play for free the demo on Steam, which is what we're going to be doing today in this video. We're going to be running through the demo and seeing what this game has to offer. You guys know I like card games, but those of you who watch me on Twitch know that I'm also pretty damn hooked on roguelike deck builders. It's kind of been a fad that I've just been all over uh, as of late. The last few months, I've just been playing one and another and another, and I just can't get enough of the genre. So I'm really excited. And the, obviously, this is the kind of sponsorship that I am super eager to take on because I would do this for free. <laughs> so, so yeah, I'm really excited to try this game out. Thank you to Black Eye Games for sponsoring today's video. Let's just dive in and take a look and see what it's all about. I, the art looks really, really neat. It gives you this um, dark medieval fantasy vibes, you know, that a lot of games uh, take on. So, yeah, let's see what Acolyte of the Altar is all about. As, uh, whoa, okay, okay, that is... That, this, you know what this reminds me of? Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen Magica Madoka. Like it, it, it the, the kind of like motion art here, it, it reminds me a lot of that. It's really, really neat actually. Squawky Bard, hey, over there. You're an acolyte, right? I'm a beast. That means we fight. I wonder why. Okay. Oh, you look positively flimsy. Let me give you some tips so you don't embarrass yourself. <laughs> uh, they gave me a tutu. Squawky Bard, look at that. You brought a cute little guy with you. Why don't you right click him to check him out? All right. The Tiny Disciple. I assume two mana, two, two. When you loot a new card, when you loot, I don't know what that means. A Tiny Disciple is sadly replaced from your deck. It looks like he's a creature. See how he has a yellow attack gem? That's how much damage he does when he attacks. Creatures also have health. I, 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 I actually, so far, I'm assuming correctly. There we go. This red health gem is how much damage this creature can take before he snuffs it. This blue gem up here is the mana cost. All cards cost mana to play. You can see your mana pool here. It holds all your delicious mana. We can see it. Um, actually, my, my webcam is in the way of that. So let me see if I can... Um, in the middle of the video. <laughs> Improvise here. I'm actually going to move my webcam to this side so you guys can see what, what he's talking about. All right, because otherwise it could be a little bit confusing. But as you guys can see there, this right here is the mana that we have. Delicious mana. Umami, umami mana. Umami. Here, have some extra mana I stole from the last Acolyte. Use it to play your mana pool koi instead. He's talking about this card right here. One mana, one, one. Play effect. Spend all remaining mana to gain plus one, plus one. For each mana spent, stop seeding once it becomes a five, five. So there's a limit to its growth. Interesting. Okay, so I can play you. I assume I just play you here. Oh. Oh, shoot. He ate all your mana. Most cards have special effects, so be sure to read them before playing them. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, you got to read cards in a card game. Shocking. I know. Notice creatures are summoned closest to your face. Yeah, I, I didn't notice that. Well, you're out of mana, so let's see what you got. Smack me hard. Oh, he, li he likes it rough. Drag your creatures into the attack row, then click the button to attack. Also, oh, it's like Runeterra in that sense. So you, you, you just, you grab, wait. Ha! Your creatures are sick with somebody's sickness and can't attack. That means you have to end your turn and let me go next. Oh, he, oh, he debated us, guys. He debated us, he, he, he let us think that we could attack but we can't oh okay my piercing gaze messed you up good did you see your life plummet from my special ability no I didn't let me let me let me read okay so it deals one direct damage to you and the powerful slash deals three but this is this has like the glowing purple thing around it so I think this has not like resolved yet Okay, for real this time. Pick up your creatures by attacking them. Your mouse can carry multiple creatures at once. But... But did, didn't this proc? This powerful slash? A little bit confused, because the piercing gaze uh, proc, but this powerful slash is supposed to deal three damage. 
Okay. So it's like, it's similar to like the bench of Legends of Runeterra, but I like, like in Magic the Gathering, there is summoning sickness. So you can't just like drop units and attack with them immediately. Ouch! As turn to go by, a beast's rage increases. This unlocks our latent power via new abilities. That's kind of spooky. And your turn again so I can show you my real power. Okay. Um, yeah, this is going to kill my unit here. But I don't know why this didn't proc. Like, this this procced immediately, and I don't know why this procced later. I'm not sure why that, that's happening. Oh. Oh, I guess it's because it's activated later? My powerful slash destroyed your creature. Take that, Acolyte. Um, you're bit dead. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the animation. They're like they're kind of creepy, but it's it's pretty it's pretty polished actually. All right, so we got three statues here. Show choose your greater patron. What do these symbols mean? Okay, the Ravagers, the Empiricist, or the Sylvans. Locked in demo. Okay, so we can, we can't choose the Sylvans. We can only choose. In this demo, we can only choose between these two, the Empiricists and the Ravagers. Ravagers govern a primitive industrial society. A primitive primitive industrial? By physical strength and ferocity. With armies of imps captained by mountainous champions. They take down beasts before they can react. Okay, the Unga Bungas. What about you? Embracing reason and shutting their emotions and instincts, Empiricists bargain with transcendental birds. With transcendental horrors in exchange for knowledge, they often stall for time until they can summon their these beings to annihilate their foes. So more like control archetype. I'm gonna I'm gonna choose the empiricists, you know, because and I'm I'm gonna choose the the these guys as as uh, the ravagers, right? As my lesser patron. Choose a gift, acolyte. We got the bundle of snakes and the founder's memorial. Each time a creature strikes for exactly one damage, gain one borrowed life. We don't know what borrowed life means. Start combat with Founder's Memorial. Grant plus one health to neighboring creatures. If it survives to turn five, gain five beetles. I don't know what a beetle is, so... Um, I'm going to, uh, to take the Founder's Memorial. I feel like it's less, um... It requires less specific synergy. Ooh, dude, I really like, dude, the, this is like, really pretty. Like, I really like this art style. I, I, I love the, the movement, like, I, I just really like it. I really like it. Wow. I've never seen anything like it, really. Like, in a game, I don't know. Like, I mean, the, the games that I play, just really like this art. It just reminds me of Magic Madoka so much. <laughs> I don't know if it's like a specific style of animation, like, it just feels a bit different. So we're facing Mother of Kid. Mother of Kid is a goat, and I assume she's the mama of this little guy right here. Bite, ram, and bite. So I assume the, the ordering of these uh, of these eyes triggers from left to right. But I'm, I still, I, I have quite a few questions about them. Okay, so we got a zero five here. We got the chain, the chanting cultist, the tiny disciple, the manic pool koi. We're familiar with these two. The lava maw smith and the impling. We have one mana. We have one mana and like three different one drops. Overlord gains bonus each time they stay behind during an attack. I'm gonna I'm gonna start off with the impling. And uh, the, we have summoning sickness, so we have to end our turn. It's the beast turn. Okay, so it does go from left to right. Bite deals two. So they open. Okay, so this is how they work. They open. And then they give you one turn to, like, you see them coming for one turn. Our Founder's Memorial, I think that this symbol right here means that the art is coming. Like, this is not going to be the art or the card. I, I, I looked before at, like, the, the, the card pool, and there's several cards with this, with this symbol right here. So that's my assumption, that because it's still a demo, um, that the actual art is going to come in uh, with the release. 
Start of turn. Grant plus one. Okay, so this is this is the founders. This is what we chose. If I survive to turn five, gain five beetles. So we got to make sure that this survives. Can we can we alter the the positioning of these? I guess not, right? Like, what if I do this and I do this? Like in Legend of Runeterra, for example. See, no, but in Legend of Runeterra, I can do that and I can move it to to here, and I can reposition my stuff. But here, it seems that. No matter what, this bite is going to be directed at my founders. And uh, there's nothing I can do about it. But we have two mana. We can play Tiny Disciple or we can play uh, the Chanting Cultist. But Borrowed Life. Well, you have Borrowed Life. Damage done to you is instead absorbed by your Borrowed Life. Oh, that's interesting. It's like armor. It's like armor. But I want damage. So I'm going to be developing the Tiny Disciple. I wonder if I can play him. No, he always, he always goes on the right. We're gonna smack him. Call that a turn. All right. They bite us, but the 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 ram here takes more time to ultimately develop. I I assume this ram is gonna be pretty uh pretty strong. So let's see if we can deal quite enough damage before that happens. I'm gonna go impling, and I'm gonna go chanting cultist because uh. I, this way, like, I, I maximize. I spread out with my mana. I get the most value. And now... We smack him. We smack the mama. And, fr and, and, and we make the kid watch. That that sounds awful, but, you know. On a sponsored video. <laughs> like, uh, there we go. Alright, so... Ram. Rams the leftmost creature into its neighbor, damaging each by the other's attack. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to, uh, like, I just don't think this Founder's Memorial is gonna survive. It's just not happening. Yeah, I wanna play this Lava Maw Smith because Overlord means that if it stays in the, in the back while I'm attacking, all of these units will gain plus one attack power. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that damage, boy. I don't want to play this for just the 1-1. One, one. Don't need to. Uh, the ram is gonna... It's gonna deal quite a bit of damage. Doesn't clear my imps, though. Doesn't clear my imps. Now I can play the, the pool koi. I can eat all the mana. It's a 5-5, five, five, and that should be lethal. Yep. And they both died. Uh, th that's kind of sad. <laughs> I, just, I just killed a family. Claim your reward. Wave of Lava. This, this is the nature of roguelike deck builders, right? Like you, you, you choose cards and you customize your deck with your choices. Deal 10 and inflict all enemy abilities with Wildfire. Wildfire deals one or two damage each turn randomly. After it has a very small chance to spread to another ability. So I can interact with the um, with the abilities. It's a very expensive late game spell, though. When I survive damage, summon an impling. An impling is, a, is, is the three one. Ooh. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the spindle the spindle hatch. I mean, this is supposed to be like legendary, but it's like really late game. I'm gonna take the spindle hatch. It seems like really good value. Really solid stat line for its ability. The fate. This is like the big. This is the biggest win of the game so far for me. Like the the art of the bosses, like them, the animation and everything. It's gorgeous. Gore, actually gorgeous. Sponsored video or not, like the tr like this is legit. So beautiful. I love it. Um, one mana. I mean, do I want to play a koi? Just to, I'm just gonna pass. I want to play a koi for one one. I can I can get more out of it. Spin. Wait, what? What? What is happening? Okay, so so some some eyes just open. It, it just depends on the amount of like things that they have surrounding them, I guess. The work of fate's hands. I am confused. 
Cut. Deal one for every three tokens on measure. Overkill. I'm going to play Tiny Disciple. Okay, 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 okay. That's neat. Yikes. So this one, this, this, this fills up my board. Oh, yikes. Okay, so it's stacking like that. Neat, 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 neat. Okay, interesting. I'm going to go... What are cannon fodders? Frontline and charge. Units with frontline go to the leftmost position on your board. That's that. I, I was gonna ask like if there was like any positional elements in this game. Charge creatures are ready to attack. Turn they are played. So I can attack with these two, but I don't. I don't, I don't need speed right now. I need value. And in order to generate value, I'm gonna I'm gonna start things off with you. gonna take a lot of damage so we just gotta keep on spreading i think developing the overlord and the impling is uh is the way to go oh i i <laughs> i burned one mana i just realized i didn't have one mana yeah they just keep cutting but we're just gonna keep going another overlord an impling a pool koi, which will be a 2-2. Two -two. And now with two overlords in the back, I'll be I'll be busting them twice. Oh, okay, so there here here we see that there's a limit. There's six spaces. If you go beyond that, then then similar to Legend of Lantera, like you just it just fades away. That's lethal. Smarky boo. Oh man, I really, really like the animations, dude. We defeated the fates. And now we have the Infernal Reincarnation, the Walfar Drake, and the Wave of Lava. The Wave of Lava again. I think this is bait, guys. I, I, I think this is... This is uh, too expensive. Deal two damage to all allied creatures. Any that would die this way are instead restored to full health and granted plus two attack. What the hell? Oh my god. That feels really good. If you can set it up properly. We have the Tricky Hunter and the Dice Game. A strange looking man is crouching out of sight of some grazing animals. You hear boisterous laughter and the rattle of dice in a cup. Mm. I'm going to go with the hunter. Still a stone. Still a stone. The man mutters, holding a spear close to his chest. Before him graze a group of small, fuzzy creatures and their much larger mother. Soup of bones, soup of bones, he says. He raises a spear and begins to charge. Which do you help him hunt? Hunt little creatures, restore two life. Hunt the mother. Claim filling feast. Lose two to ten life. Ooh. You only live once. You find something special. The filling feast. Restore ten life and gain three borrowed life. Forsake. When you forsake a card, it removes it from your deck permanently. Oh. 
so we can only use it once the entire run earth carvers change bundle of snakes turn start out a temporary earth carvers change to your hand it reads i one mana <laughs> grant a creature plus two health it can't attack each time a creature strikes for exactly one damage gain one borrowed life exactly one damage i'm not crazy about either of these to be honest Fading forest. Ah, let's play Koi. We got the parry. Counter attack. Deal one. This kills a creature. Deal one is another counter attack. Okay. Piercing gaze. Deal one direct damage to you. Soothing song. Restore one life to self. Okay, so very low impact sort of effects. A lot of health though. Ooh, I can give my my Founder's Memorial health with this. Okay, good to know. I'm just gonna go Tiny Disciples. I'm at four, I took quite a bit of health from that. Crescendo, okay, this is the big one. Empower all. Empower all what? All other abilities raising their effects by one. Oh, that's a problem. That's a massive problem. But right now, is it stacking right now or not? Probably no, because it needs to load up. I'm not sure. I think we're about to find out. Because that makes a big difference. Okay, it's just one. For now, it's just one. I'm gonna play Tiny and Impling. Call it a turn. Oh no. Oh no. It steals two now. Which is extremely threatening. But I'm going to try to go for the Inferno Reincarnation. I'm worried about this party just clearing my board, though. I'm not sure how that works. Let's try. If I do this, and this, I feel like I'm going to lose my board if I do this. I'm not sure how that works. Oh, and because I positioned this, oh my god, because, because of my positioning, it, it did work like I expected. Oh my god, that's so clutch. It's actually so clutch. Oh, and I got a 3-3 three, three here. Oh, that's huge. This should be a huge hit here. Because of the three health, like I'm, I'm, I'm avoiding this thing from clearing my board. Positioning this earlier, like actually, I, I believe it saved my board. I gain two borrowed life, which protects me here for the next hit. Yeah, the sequencing of attack there was was essential, but now we're in trouble. But if we do this. If I understand correctly, it would just kill this one. And it doesn't matter because we kill him anyways. Maestro Mave! Defeated. 
Dominate one. Cards with dominate randomly kill your own creatures before entering play. Ravagers love to show off their strength. What about beast tormentors? Okay, overstated, but... But they enrage. I don't have any infestion, though. Eruptor shot. Hmm. I, I want to try the infected stuff. I don't know if I'm going to be able to explore that. The uncovered gold cap. Let's play the Tiny Disciple here. We got the Fungi Flurry. Deal two damage. Fungi Flurry will trigger two to three times. Flip the health and attack of a creature who cannot see enemy intent this fight. Oh boy. How many cards do I have in my in my deck? Eight cards. Oh whoa, whoa. They actually wipe my board. We gotta play the uh, the spindle hatch here. I die. <laughs> so crafted, because it didn't. It didn't Did I lose the tutorial? I lost the tutorial on the demo. That was that was like the last villain and I died. <laughs> I, I have to come to terms with that. Like I that was like they're just like stairs like no, this did 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 just not happen. <laughs> no way, not not to me. Uh I didn't read the uh the first like rage um ability properly. Like it flipped over the uh the power and the health of my unit. So when I dropped that four drop with two seven, it became a seven two and therefore was uh easily eliminated with like the AoE sort of like mushroom bombing. That felt like a really rough boss for our specific deck to deal with. I also chose some wonky um like I, I I did some risky stuff. Like I took a lot of damage uh, by hunting the mother, and I never I don't think I ever drew that card to to like heal myself, uh, which was really unlucky. <laughs> but ultimately, uh, it's a demo, so you you should be picking cards that you know synergize more immediately with what you're doing, because uh, you know playing for the long game right now isn't really a thing, and uh, I had to learn that the, the rough way, I guess. But it looks really promising. Like I said, I love the art and. The card design seems really interesting, though we just basically scraped the top of it. Like we we really only looked at the tip of the iceberg, uh, as I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of crazy synergies in store for this sort of game. And uh, I just really really like uh, what it sh has to offer right now. Like I I think the presentation is top notch, and I really really like the art, the animated uh, bosses. And I think it also has a lot of uh, originality going on for it with like the rage mechanics and the fact that the, the boss is getting madder and madder and has more abilities launching at you and how they synergize with one another, like sequencing your attacks. I like that positioning is also relevant in this game and there's, there are cards that play into that as well. It just feels pretty damn complete. And uh, overall, I've had a very, very good first impression. So thank you again black guy games for sponsoring this video guys check out the accolade of the altar it's going to be out officially on steam very very soon so keep uh keep an eye out for that play the demo try it out yourselves link in the description down below love you have a sold day hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you tomorrow